Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. I want to say good morning and happy Sunday to every one of us in the name of Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord for what he has taught us again in today's lesson. About obedience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's get settled, please. All those of you that are still walking around, please find a seat for yourself. God bless us as we obey in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have concluded the lesson we started generally last week. On divine call to rebuild. For the adult classes. Both in English and Yoruba classes. English people let recite our memory verse together. Want to go. Go up into the mountains and bring down timbers and build the house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored. Where is it taken from? When we want to mention where it's taken from now, I can hear our voice. But when we were reading, I can only hear my own voice. Want to show that we truly know it now. So let's make sure we read it aloud very well. So English people, let's take it one more time. One, two, go. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Amen. Yoruba people. Our memory verse. Want to read. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Very, very good. Amen. Amen. That's a challenge to English people. I know next week we'll try better. God helping us in Jesus' name. Yes, from the students. Let's hear that one. Understand? Tell us your topic. What's your topic? One, two, go. God. Memory verse. We can't hear what you are reading very well. Let somebody stand for you all and I read it to our hearing very well. Give to the first lady. Now, these are the nations the Lord, which the Lord left to prove Israel by them. Even as, even as many of Israel as had not known all the words of Canaan, Judges chapter 3, verse 1. Let's clap for Jesus in their lives. Amen. Amen. Today we want to listen if there's any question we want to ask from any class. But before we entertain some questions from us, I want to throw a question to the youth. What is your lesson all about? What is the summary of your lesson? Or what do you gain 
from that lesson. Yes. Who is raising up his or her hand? Or I should call anybody. Hello, no, what's okay? I'll be here. What is your lesson all about? Give to the lady that raised up her hand the other time. Stand up as a youth and talk now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. In our lesson, we learned how God proved Israel in order to test their level of faith. And then I also learned that God always allows some challenges in our lives in order to test our level and standard of faith, spiritually, physically, and morally. Then we are told that in anything we do, that we should not even comp compromise of our sins. We should not compromise by turning back to what we have done before. And then if by any case we have done that or we in any way we have compromised that God is merciful to forgive us, forgive us if, if we go back to him in prayers and repent of our sins. God bless you. I say God bless her and every one of them and their teachers in the name of Jesus and every one of us together. I say every one of us together in Jesus' name. Haven't we learned some things from the lesson? from what they were taught. And God will bless every one of us together as we obey the lesson in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Who has any question? On divine call to rebuild. From, from any class. We can only see one hand. And please go straight to your question. Let's listen attentively because I may call anybody to answer the question. Yes, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our lesson teaches us that we should try to be obedient. But to me personally, physically, spiritually, especially this place, there's no day that the God doesn't feed us with the real undiluted word. But if you look at it, some of us still found it difficult to obey. In fact, so can we say those who found it difficult to obey, is it a, like a trial from God so that maybe unless the person passed through some things before he can obey, or what is the cause? And what can we do to obey? Thank you. Ibere won ni wi pe won ni eko wa ti oni dadu olori igbigbo ran patapata ti olorun won ni ni inu ijo wa ni hin ni gbogbo ibapata ti a ba pade ni olorun ma nko wa ni oro re won ni sugbon sibe opolopo ni o ni ran fun lati gbo ran ati lati tele oro ni ibere won wa ni wi pe kini ere ji to fi ri be si a le so wi pe awon ti won ko gbo ran yi si a le so pe olorun ye o yi ri won wo ni abi oni omiran ti o fa kini ere ji to fi ni ran fun iru awon be lati gbo ran patapata yes sir my daddy in the front here. The question is, why do we hear the word of God and we find it difficult most times to obey? Because we don't To the best of my ability, you know, when somebody is having kind of mind, join with the God... Uh, uh, God manners, definitely we find it difficult. That shows he has never given his life in totality to God. So he is still applying some kind of minds to what he's doing. Let's open our Bible to John chapter 14. 
Verse 15. John 14, 15. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Can you see what Jesus says? Let's see verse 21 again. He that at my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. Verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The reason why most of us we disobey the word of God is the, that the, we do not have the true love of God in our hearts. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the fear of God does not amount to anything in our lives. So how do I let the love of God in me and in you? If I ask, how many of us love God? <laughs> Raise up your hand. You see now. How many of us love God? Everyone now. But the test is. The proof is. How much do we obey him? See what Jesus said. At least about three verses from that chapter. That's what we are In chapter 15, verse 40, he still repeats the same thing. He said, Here, yeah, my friend, if you do whatever I command you, if I'm not, I'm a partial obedient daughter to him. The level of my love towards God determines my love for Him. The level of my obedience to Him determines my love for Him. This, this is applicable to every one of us. So if I have not been obedient in the word of God totally, that means I have not loved him totally. See verse 12 of our major text this morning, Haggai. What motivated the people to start doing the word work again. The last line of verse 12. And the people did fear before the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we fear God and we love Him, as we are supposed to love Him, we will obey. So the reason why we don't obey Him totally is because. We don't fear him as we ought to, and we don't love him as er, we ought to. Er, er, iti ako fi she ibono to pata pata na niwipe ako beru re biotito ako si fero re biotito. And the solution is. On aba yoto si wa funi lehi. According to the question. Kege bi bere ni. Love God the more than the things of this world. Fero alone gidi gidi juong bogo to wa ni na ye. Fear him. That's the conclusion of the whole matter. That's what Ecclesiastes says. Before we pray, let's open and see. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, 12. Verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment. 
for this is the whole duty of man. I pray this day the grace and the power to love God to submit our authority unto Him in obeying Him in doing His will and doing His word the Lord will give to every one of us in Jesus name shall we rise up on our feet to pray how much do I love God how much do I keep His words we learned that the children of Israel they obeyed here when they were challenged, they were reproved. They were rebuked. And they feared God. They began the war. The word of rebuke came on the first day of the month. On the 24th day of the same month, that means 23 days interval, they began the work. And they finished the war. If you read the book of Ezra, chapter 6, verse 15, the Bible says they finished the war. Let's close our eyes and begin to ask for the spirit of total obedience to the word of God. Let's open our mouth and begin to talk to the Lord. God has been sending people to us as He sent a guy to His people. People. We are sending our Father in the Lord here to us from time to time. We are sending other ministers to us. This will not be the ministers on the altar. But some people have been coming to you, telling you what the Lord has them to tell you. The area of worldliness. Or spirit of anger. Or of doing the work of God. Maybe they tell you through prophecy. Maybe through revelation what God revealed to them about you. Don't you take their words as words of men. And you will not act upon it. Let's ask for the spirit of obedience this morning. Lord help me. In all the areas of my life. In every area that your word comes to me. Through anybody you send to me. Lord, the grace of total obedience as from this day give to me in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth and pray very well. He's ready to give us. Obedience brings blessing. Obedience brings blessing. Say, if you are willing and obedient, you will hear the goods of the land. You will hear the fruits of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, the result will not be our portion. But let's pray for the spirit of obedience. He's ready to give to us. Pray, 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 pray. Tell the Lord. What type of wall or temple are you building? You're building the temple of holiness, righteousness, and purity of life. So pray this money, Lord, help me. Don't let me build what will be consumed at the end of the day. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you once again this morning. We are grateful unto you for all you have done for us. You have opened our eyes again to see the need to be obedient to your word and commandment. Our Father, accept our praises this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, as we have learned. And the question is, what are we building? Are we building the temple of holiness, righteousness, purity of life? Or we are building the temple of iniquities? Our Father, we pray today. Lord, more than you have spoken to us, Give us the grace to do in Jesus' name. Amen. And where we, we have found ourselves wanting, Lord, today you will restore us. Holiness and purity of life will be our watchword. 
and the spirit of obedience, Lord, give and grant unto us in Jesus' name. As we continue, continue with us. Thank you, Father, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. We remain.